Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Episode 98. What? That's <laughs> so bad. Little Z. Hey guys, this is me. I'm just talking to normal boys. Usual little Z. Pop it one. Uh, yeah, answer cool. <laughs> And director Carl. Uh, hello, everyone. Oh, it is hard to transition to an old voice yes. after that. I put on maybe a character <laughs> yeah, what caricature of my own yeah. voice. Do you, I mean, you got to do that a bit for YouTube videos. I've tried to unlearn doing the old yeah. self caricature. Like, you, you exaggerate the weird parts of your personality more yep. if you do YouTube and that. Yeah. But then now I feel like it's going the other way. Everyone wants to know, like, Authentic. to be more genuine, yeah, yeah. more authenticity. Whenever I turn a camera on, I'm just like, what's up, guys? Yeah. Undo, delete, yeah. start again. Uh, real quick, though. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Uh, it's just going to be me and Jackson here today. Yep. Uh, if you were fooled by the intro, <laughs> yeah. don't be. No Audio one. listeners, they're not even really here, <laughs> despite yeah, our good just, impressions. Uh, so, just us today. Going to be a bit more of a chill one. We're going to talk about what's in store for season two yep. of the podcast. Yeah. Jackson, give us a brief overview of season two. Season two is going to be better, <laughs> not worse. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> uh, so you're not being held at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> not, oh, not worse. Not worse. Okay, yeah, yeah, not re- worse. Read that Everyone's wrong. all subscribe. Uh, well, this is episode 98, so we don't need to be yeah. better yet. So what's since store for season one? We've got next week's the Japanese episode because Jordan's presence is missed today. And in case you haven't heard, Peter is... Bon voyage, he's out of here. So he'll be back. We don't know when, basically. He's in Europe, America, right? Currently, what? Canada, Vancouver? Uh, yeah, I think he's starting in Canada. Yeah. Uh, he's doing a big old trip. Yeah. So, but you still got, you're still going to hear him, episode 100 of the podcast. Yeah, we pre recorded that before he left, and it's an absolute bonanza. It's two yes. and a half hours of madness. Uh, today, it's going to be maybe two and a half hours. It won't be madness. Maybe mad. Oh, no, okay. It might bit, be madness. A little bit of madness. A little bit of mischief. Um, should we do... I think we need to do a bit of random segment generator. Random topic generator. You're starting hot with a random topic yeah, generator. Yeah. Well, actually, first, someone did ask... Hang on. I wrote it down, but I can't remember what it was now. For oh, those yeah. of you that don't know, guys, random topic generator is yep. maybe the best... One of the podcast segments of all time. Yeah. Where we generate a random word... And then we talk about it. Yeah. That honestly might be this whole podcast. Right. But let's get started with your cold shower streak. No, we're going to talk about oh, cold shower streak. Yeah. So you said that you couldn't do it while you're in Japan, but you've been back now for how many days? Well, I mean, I could have done it when I was in Japan, but over there, the temperature's like minus 10. Yeah. So, so it's actually have... easier to do then. <laughs> well, I didn't. Wouldn't it be? I'm on holidays. Okay. I don't need to have a cold shower when I'm on holidays. Yeah. Uh, but... And I also have not been having cold showers <laughs> so since getting zero. back. No, it's one. You did this morning. I had a cold shower literally today. Did Great. my homework the day of the test. Oh, perfect. Thank God. Uh, that felt pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Um, it, it's crazy going from somewhere that's like minus 10 degrees and then coming back to Perth and we landed, it was 38. Yeah, it's been pretty hot. For y'all Americans, that's about 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah, it is, it is, right? I think yeah. it's even more. No, oh, more than Isn't fucking... Isn't 100 about 33? 150 <laughs> Fahrenheit. I don't need to do the conversion. It's hot as dicks. Uh, 38 C to F. Here we go. Here it comes. No, it's exactly 100. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, shit. 100.4. No, nah, we'll go round up. 150. We'll stick with it. There was a 40 degree day in Perth while you were gone, which is 104. Yeah, but I, f- I feel like it's just awful. I hate it. Like, where, I want to live in one of those middle countries where the yeah. temperature never changes. Do those exist? Closer to the equator, be. it's more stable, but it's still hot. Yeah, then it's like really hot, which just. Yeah. And then, like, it's probably pretty stable in Antarctica, but I don't want to be that cold yeah, all the time. Yeah. So, I think so the closer the options or the further, are grim. Yeah. So, you either get really hot or really cold, but your body would get used to it, I imagine. Yeah. It's crazy how good the air conditioning in the whole world is. <laughs> yeah. And like places that need it more, they like got it more. Like that's a stupid no, sentence. No, I like that. I like that. <laughs> like when you go to America, they have like central heating. Yeah. Not a single house in all of Australia has central heating. Yep. Like even places like down south in uh, Western Australia here mm-hmm. that are more cold, they'll have like 
one fireplace. Yeah. I don't think we've unlocked like central heating for yeah. Australia yet. No, we have not. Did not go down that skill tree. Don't need it, really. Not really. When no. it gets the coldest, it gets is what eight degrees, if if that. Yeah, and then plug that into Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know? Nah. Okay. Cold, but cold. not very cold. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, God, this is madness, isn't it, this episode? Yeah, well, they should learn the fucking Celsius system. Yeah, yeah they should. Uh, should we get right into a random topic? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's get random. Yeah, let's go. This has a sort of intro, doesn't it? This segment? Yeah. Go on. Oh, shit. <laughs> you walked into that. Um, <laughs> what will it pick? A hot topic we're going to learn about. Secular. Next. <laughs> We're not. Water. Water? Yeah. Water you want to talk about. Am Ooh. I right? Water. Been drinking water recently quite a lot. I haven't. Okay. You know what's really weird though? This is only somewhat related to water. Okay. Uh, I think I like, do you know Pakari Sweat? Yes. The a- So it's like an Asian ga- drink. Gatorade. Yep. Yeah, sports drink. Uh, it's like not got too much flavor except for like sugar, salt, Yep. Electrolytes. Yeah. Uh, I think I changed my sweat to smell like Pokari sweat. I was yeah. drinking it that much over in uh, Japan. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, as, I mean, we did say we were going to talk about Japan too much on this podcast yeah. till Jordan gets back because uh, me and Jordan went to Japan together. Yeah. But this story really was not cut out for the this main. One, yeah. This one's not going to make it into episode 99. No, it probably the Japanese wasn't. Podcast. But if we have to talk about water. Yeah. Yeah. I think I changed my sweat to. I was like. Being like, what smells like Bakari sweat? And it right. was my sweat. Did like Maddie think that was good? Did Maddie think that was bad? Did she I, have an didn't, opinion? I didn't ask. Right. Hey, babe, smell my piss. What do you think about this stench? Uh, it good. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's worse it's like It's a, it's smell a like. very lateral move, you know? Yeah. Not saying my BO was great before. I'm not saying it's great now. Right. Just I feel like there's a bit more Pakari in the sweat. Yeah, well, that's drinking water really helps cut down your odor, body odor, because you just out. No, but it wasn't water. like better. I'm still really dehydrated. That's why I was drinking so much Pakari. Right. Sweat. Why were you so dehydrated? Snowboarding, right. like takes a lot out of you. Yeah. You like sweat. I feel like I was just like sweating in indoor places because yeah. like here's the thing with it being like negative ten outside and then you go inside and the heating's really good. Yeah. You always got to dress to like layer up and layer yeah, down. Sure. And like, I got sick of it by the end. Yeah. I see why people have like jacket hooks and shit. Oh, so you walk in and then you have to like take all these layers off basically. Yeah. All the time. I never really Otherwise been anywhere that's that cold. Yeah. Because I'd be wearing like shirt, jumper, and then a big jacket on yeah. top of that. Yeah. And when you get inside, you only want to wear like one shirt. Yeah. So I used a, a coat hook for the first time. I hung my jacket on no, the Like hook. at the door. Yeah, you know how jackets have the little bit inside yeah, where yeah, you yeah. hang them? I did that for the first time ever. Yeah, we don't really have jackets here that much in Perth. Yeah, no, and I wish we did because I look pretty pretty good in a jacket. You like, you look, you I love you my like jackets. That, yeah. yeah, great. Bought a couple more when I was over there, got back here, realised I can't ever wear them. Yeah, because yeah, they're quite big, Yeah, the snow jacket. Like yeah. a literal snow jacket? No, I didn't buy any of them, but okay. I do have one. Right. Well, you can wear them in winter. Yeah. So that's exciting. Doesn't, get, doesn't really get too cold though. Looking forward to winter because summer clothes are not not so hot on. Yeah, no, summer clothes suck. Yeah. Summer in general, uh, but the beach. Like yeah. You're summer or winter? Winter. Because yeah. I'm a sweater and I don't really go to the beach. <laughs> so. Okay, sorry. My head was just trying to think of a joke about you being a sweater. A sweater. Like woolen or... Oh, great. Knitted. God. Anyway, back to water. <laughs> <laughs> no, back to winter. Winter, yeah. Because I think I'm I think I lean more summer. Okay. Even though I like the winter wardrobe, but I like nothing else about winter. Yeah. Rain sucks ass. I think I like whatever I'm not in. Because when it's summer I'm like, it needs to be cold. And then when it's cold and you haven't seen the sun in two days, you're like, this freaking sucks. Yeah, this is what I mean. We've got to go to the equator. Yeah. Because spring and autumn, they're the best. Yeah, why don't we just have spring too? Yeah. Who invented this summer shit? God should have looked at that when he created the world in seven days or whatever he did. Do you reckon we're going to get to a point where we can do that? Like Regulate the temperature we, of the world? No, we like tilt the entire planet. Oh, wow. Like during one of the seasons. But then won't someone else be suffering? <laughs> yeah, but which country's got the money? Well, Australia well, won't be the one to do it. Yes. We'll just be like <laughs> getting completely destroyed. Yeah, true. It'll be based on probably China. 
You reckon they'll do it? Russia seems like the kind of country that sort that out because they're freaking freezing. Yeah. Wouldn't that and they are the problems? kind of planet to just tilt at 90 degrees yeah. so that's like Russia's doing great. Yeah, and then Antarctica and the, would melt, right? So then wouldn't we like all get flooded? We're the new Antarctica. That could be cool. Yeah, okay. Apart from the flooding, of course. Yeah, the flooding at the yeah, freezing temperatures. No, no, nothing that, about that sounds cool no, at all, actually. Does it? Does it? And that sort of ties it back into water. Yes. <laughs> we kind of nailed flooding. that one, didn't right. we? Next. Let's do one more, but then uh, I got... I want to talk about a movie I watched on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Should we stop in for talking about the movie? <laughs> I feel like if we now hold on that, it's going to become a big thing. Yeah. And it's not a big segment. I just... Uh, yeah. Have you seen The Shining? Oh, a long time ago, yeah. What did you think? Uh, I remembered liking it. I actually can't really remember. I probably saw it about eight years ago. So I'm not a big horror movie person, but uh-huh. there are some like... I don't. I wouldn't really call it horror, horror as well. It's, it's more, more a psychological like a, thriller, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely like trying to be scary, but in a more psychological, not yeah, like, yeah. Eh, like yeah. jump scared type of way. It's in your head. Yeah, yeah. Just thought I'd give the viewers one so that they could relate to the jump square. <laughs> the jump square. Jump scare. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I haven't spoken in like two weeks. Really. No talking well, while you're in No, Japan. I have talked, but I haven't needed to like talk as a job. Yeah, it's, it's quite hard. You know, Neither you have say, I. You say uh, jump square. And so <laughs> yeah, you, things like 40, that. 40,000 comments about it. I don't think that would be four. We will not get 40,000 comments about jump square. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> okay, so, right, shining. so shining. So what do you think about it? <laughs> uh, not my favorite. No, okay. didn't rate it. Like, How many Everyone stars? talks about it. See, it wasn't bad. I would give it like a three stars, but there was a lot of shit that I just didn't really get. Okay. The hi- like, I've already seen the best parts of the film, like the the here's Johnny. Yeah. Like, I feel like may or maybe I've seen it way too much that I thought the rest of the movie was going to be full of this like iconic, yeah, like different moments. stuff. But it it was a good movie. I just like. I don't know. I've I've seen so much build up about it that I think yeah. it really affected my you know Enjoyment position going it. into it and I thought it would be way better than what it was. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's probably just like reverse. It's the it's the reverse warm beer theory. Have oh, you okay. Heard this? I do know the Jordan's warm beer Jordan's theory. Yeah. Jordan <laughs> Popper one's yeah. warm beer theory. And just to refresh my memory of what the warm beer theory is. Well, he is. always drinks warm beer. Yeah. So that he never knows what else is out there. Yeah. So, so the, that, isn't it more like, than when he has a cold beer, it's really good? Yeah. Yeah. He's fucking insane, yeah, isn't he? It's just what a <laughs> lunatic. Anyway, I saw so many good re- good things about The Shining yeah. and just like people referencing it. Mm-hmm. Then when I saw it, I was like, oh, didn't get the hype so much. Yeah. So you were expecting a cold beer, but you kind of got a medium beer. Yeah. Like it was fine. It was still it. pretty good, but it wasn't as freezing cold as you would have liked. That's a perfect way of putting it. Also... This may have affected my opinion of the movie. Uh, there's like a two-minute full frontal nude scene with this chick. Uh huh. Do you remember she gets out of like the bathtub? Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And she's like yep. very, very slowly walking. Because yep. I watched this on a plane, so it, it was probably about two minutes of this like full frontal, very slow walking, like very creepy woman walking towards. You watch this on your laptop. Or no, the, 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 plane, the plane screens. They do have some sort of thing where you can't really see angled, but not oh, that much. But I've seen a lot of what other people are watching yeah. on the planes. Yeah. So I can only assume that there's, so there's a lot of... Are you pretending you're not watching during that? That's what I always <laughs> no, do for some reason. I'm masturbating. Like That's this. what made it awkward. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was trying to tug one out and it right. really... No. You put I your little blanket, not. your Qantas blanket over I just lap. did not... I was not prepared for how long that scene was yeah. going to go for. And then like, like what do you do? You don't want to pause it. Well, that's what I was. That's what I'm saying. I pretend like I'm looking out the window during it because I'm just so embarrassed that I don't know what to do. But it's like everyone's gonna watch a movie with a bit of nudity. Yeah. And I had no idea because it's like The Shining. They shouldn't put that on the plane. They shouldn't put nudity. that on plane. No nudity in movies. Yeah. What What is that? Well, like I wasn't thinking because it was a horror and like not expecting it. Yeah. And then you don't want to be. You, <laughs> you do not want to be the guy pausing the movie at the full frontal. 
nudity scene. Like they come over to offer you a drink and you pause. <laughs> and then they look at your screen and they're like, what are you doing, sir? And then they're like, oh, okay. I mean, he's just watching the movie. Then they see you rewinding it and watching it over Trying and over. Trying to figure out how to loop it, yeah. And then you're in a bit of trouble. Yeah. But yeah, that was pretty awkward. Yeah, that's I don't know the worst. if anyone saw me, but I did feel there were like kids behind me, and then it's also like, yeah, what do you do? They're like, Daddy, what's he watching? <laughs> and he's like, Oh, you don't want to know. So yeah, God, I think tick like just fucking modern language has ruined the word daddy for me. Oh right, yeah, like because it's, it's very sexual yeah. to you now. No, no, you used it in like a completely fine context, yeah, and then it just that's what I'm saying. It's you you find it very sexual now, or very like. What is it to you? It now? just always sounds like a meme. Right. Like a sexual, yes, yes. meme. Yeah. Like, oh, daddy. See, like, when you have kids one day and they call you daddy, what are you going to be like, no, son, that's not That's not correct. Dad or father or Mr. Father. Trahan Mr. for them. Mr. Trahan. <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> Mr. T, I Mr. like T's that. Mr. T's pretty good. That's like a cool substitute teacher. Yeah, Mr. T. Maybe I should be a substitute teacher. Yeah, you have to be doing a teaching school, don't you? Yeah. You get paid a lot. <laughs> a school where they teach you how to teach. I yeah. don't think they do that, Jackson. That sounds so. pretty ridiculous. That sounds a bit much, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like an accountant accounting for another accountant. Yeah. What's they the, just do it themselves. Yeah, they should. What, um, what's your job that you'd be doing yeah. if you weren't doing this? Uh, well, I'm going to study audio. I don't know if I've talked about that. I'm I don't think I've spoken about it on the yeah. pod. So I'm uh, going to be studying audio, like mastering is what I want to be doing. Mixing and mastering. Are you going to be mastering audio? I'm going to be mastering, mastering of audio. So that's the so goal. So it's like you're not just going to be good at it. You're going to I'm be, gonna be the mastering master, it. Hopefully. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's, I'm trying yeah. to set myself up with a real And what job. did you say you were mixing it in with? <laughs> sucks. Like a bit of audio, a bit of video mixing? No. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm This sorry. is why I haven't talked about this, I'm realizing. Yeah, fair. Um, yeah. So that'll be interesting. I'm excited for that. What's the what's the end goal? To be the person when you see, you know, bands making their music and there's a guy sitting behind the desk. Yeah. Oh, that's me, hopefully. And I'm the band. Yeah. That's what I hope. That's that's the real dream, isn't it? I don't know if it is. No. What do you what would you nah, be doing? Sure if you, were you doing want to be this? like the be- the best masterer in terms of like audio rather than like the best band. Yeah. Which one like gets paid? Well, you know those jobs that get paid a like really good amount of money, but you're like not in the spotlight and there's not too uh, much yeah. pressure. I think that just, the best just, ones do chilling. get paid a lot, but I don't know. Well, uh, just there you go. Become one of the best ones. That's the goal. But I yeah. think you need to move out of Perth, as seems to be the case with pretty much everyone. Yeah, that's industry, most jobs. Except for mining. Except for YouTube, YouTube as well. Which is fine. <laughs> you can be YouTuber or you can be a miner. Yeah. Do you think um, season two is different for your channel or it's the same? Does I think it feel my like channel is thing? kind of in season two. Yours already changed. Yeah, but it's in one of those like, oh, they said they were going to do the season like this year and it's been a whole nother year. Yeah. Like the uploads have not been frequent. Yeah. Is basically where I'm getting at there. Yeah. But I've got some stuff coming out pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Should be exciting. This sleep product video that I've been working on for ages. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, wow, even though for so long. Yeah, but it's not like it took that long. It's just like yeah, okay. been bounced around a bit too much. Like you couldn't figure out how to make it properly. Yeah, kind of. And then I thought I was going to edit it, but then now I've sent it to Derek to edit because this other thing I was editing has been taking so long. Yeah. Once I get a few of these projects I'm working on out, then I've got some uh, some new ideas, some good shit coming. I'm hoping at least like one video a month this year. That's pretty good. Which that's a good goal. It's achievable. Yeah. It's smart. And maybe some more short form TikToks. Ah, that's some good advice. I've been getting told recently that uh, in order to succeed on YouTube these days, you kind of have to. Yeah, do it definitely like the short form like content. Yeah. What What do you want to see from my shorts, Jackson? From the shorts? Yeah, mine specifically. Uh, give me a good. Uh, your lemonade one is brilliant. Short. Oh yeah. Because it kind of explains the whole thing. Gives a good yeah. trailer. Should just take all my. <laughs> like ten minute long videos and condense them condense into, them a, into minute. a short. Yeah, kind of does work, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it seems to quite well. Do you yeah. watch YouTube Shorts? Yeah, too many. Yeah, so you at least have some idea of what's good. Yeah, I do, but then it's like all my personal taste. Yeah, but that's fine because your videos are also your personal taste. Yeah, I don't, don't want to make shorts, bro. Oh, there's got to be editors out there that do that for you, right? Oh, there's got to be. Yeah, like professional ones that can turn a video. Them, yeah, I don't know. Um, 
So that's season two of Little Z. Yep. Let's talk about um, the underdogs gaming. Yep. I had so like Peter's going to be out of the gaming videos for a little while. He's still going to be popping up in a few because our upload schedule is so tragic. Well, he'll be there for a bit longer still. Yeah. Season two doesn't start for a couple more months, maybe. Uh, oh, in terms of the uploads? Yeah. I well, saw that you said... through the backlog. I thought you said I saw that there was a bunch of them we recorded or something. There, There's like quite a few videos with Peter in them yeah. that just haven't come out on the gaming channel. But for those Underdogs Gaming followers, you know the chair? I had an idea for the chair. The chair? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yep. Go on. Like the chair is our gaming series where we'll yeah. have three Underdogs sit on the couch and one person sits in the chair. We're playing online. Yeah. Yep. And so... Playing online, each underdog gets one stock each, yep. and then someone's in the chair. I was thinking we should bring guests on to the chair. Okay. Do you think that would work well or go horribly wrong? So, so are they good Smash players or they're just people? I think they'd be good because in the chair we're usually trying to like coach a certain character. So we're character, bringing right? professional players in, like. But professional players that can talk. Yeah. No offense to a lot of Smash. <laughs> no top offense players, to professional players, <laughs> but they got to be able to like, yeah. maintain a bit of. <laughs> Yeah, that works. Bit of conversation. And they're coming in with three heavy hitters on the talking side. Yeah, well, two. I wouldn't say I'm a heavy hitter, but yes. No, when you're like, oh, what? there's a sports analogy here. Okay. The guy that like comes out and does one thing really well. The touchdown kickers in football, right? Oh, uh, like the punters. Yeah. yeah. They only practice one thing right. and it's like kicking the ball through the yeah, goal and what's my one thing? every time. Just having a real good zinger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm professional at that. Yeah, you, yeah okay. you can't really put on a resume. No, a yeah, professional <laughs> singer rather than punter. Resume. Uh, other other skills. I'm like one of those people in US football yeah, that can only kick the goals. explaining the concept. <laughs> no, but it's like you don't talk all the time. Yeah, well, I don't really you need do, to because you've, you, you're Jordan, and Peter are all quite good at talking a lot. Thanks. Because you do your own channels, so you have a lot of practice in that, whereas I don't have that sort of No, practice. we're all that annoying in real life, too. Jordan's definitely not like that in real life. True, Jordan does speak more in uh, videos. 100%. Peter's definitely a bit of a talker in real life. Yeah, yeah. Like you and, you and Peter well. both are. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just more, I don't know. So I'm thinking, right, we get uh, MK Leo in the chair as an example. Right, so he's is he with us? No, he's virtually. Right. The I'll virtual chair. Because okay. we don't use face cam or anything. Right. So his voice is just watching us play these online games. Is that <laughs> Yeah, correct? he doesn't get to play. <laughs> and what is, so why would he come and... Okay, go on. So he's coming to teach us Byleth. Yeah. And there's just a bit of back and forth banter like the chair, but there's no way of getting right. out of the chair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Maybe what would he do? Maybe if we three stock, we get rewarded by watching him play Get a little MK Leo treat. <laughs> No, he's just like there to teach us how to play Byleth and we're just there being shit. Yeah, okay. So that, he gives us tips. As so he's like coaching. Yeah. Isn't that very expensive? No, but we get it for free because we're, oh. we're like offering them an ex, like as advertising for they them. Can, yeah, so Esam would be a good one to get because he yeah. sells the Metafire. Like I, I know a lot of these people personally. Yeah, that's true. So... Hey, you it organize, is like I'm getting in. a free Metafy coach. But then they can session. plug their Metafy coach thing. Yeah. So it's like a. But I'm like thinking less coaching and more just like they can bully us. Yeah. Bullying encouraged if we are terrible. Encouraged. Okay. Mm. Well, okay. I, I would be the worst player. So then maybe they're but not. We can also get like me. TC Nick or yeah. Vernius. Yeah. Coney, other Smash. Sounds good to me. I like that. Figureheads. Yeah. That we could. That's. I was thinking. I don't know how good it might be. We could make it a full like series. Yeah, we just definitely try it because you know a bunch of these people, so someone will come and do it. Yeah, and then we see if it's I haven't any been good. too in the Smash scene lately, but uh, let's read. We do have a chat here. Yeah, what do they got see to say? if uh, anyone looking forward to the idea? Paid King exposure, of Skill yep. for K Rule teaching us. Yeah. <laughs> so not really. No one's really got much to say. <laughs> I mean, they just said paid and exposure. That'll, <laughs> that'll go, go well. well. Yeah, that always helps. What do you mean? I've done collabs with people like yeah. You don't have to get paid for a collab. It's 100%. a collab. It's not a. We're not hiring them for actual coaching. And we'll go do something on their channel if they want. Well, maybe not. But if we were expecting actual professional level coaching, but it's more like just chat to us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we did versus uh, the party crashes. Yeah, that was bad. We lost. We. 
I remember doing extremely well in one effort, of the crew Zach. battles, but then I shat the bed at the other. Oh, okay. So I think I, I did it completely bad. Not completely bad, just bad. Slightly <laughs> underwhelmingly in both. Yeah, but your Richter went pretty hard. Oh, did it? Did it go more than even? Yeah, I think your Richter was like a... A meme was definitely born about your Richter. Right, respect to my Richter. Get Pop one to teach you, Lucina. All right, we're done with this. Yeah, the chair's cancelled. All right, um, let's get another word going. What kind of word are you hoping for? <laughs> I don't know. We got round. <laughs> Do you want to perform a round? Like you know what that is? It's when you start In singing. Music? It. Uh, I'm not very good at that sort of thing, but we okay. can try. Go no, on. I don't think we should. No, why not? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, go. You start. Or do I start? Okay, so I'm going to start. Yeah. And you just need to repeat what I say Yeah. one phrase after. So this one's called, let's put the rooster in the stew. Okay, so I try and not to listen you to you, go, but is, is my job harder? Oh, I suppose, all right, let's find Your out. job's in... You need to just sing what I sing but after I, I do I start it. the next line Yeah. But at the same you time you start copying. it. And yeah, then I've got yeah. to listen at yeah, the same time. So I'm basically not going to be able to do this. Yeah, okay. If I do more than two lines, it's a miracle. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's put the rooster in the stew. Let's put the rooster in the stew. Then you got to sing cock a doodle doodle do. Then you got to sing cock a doodle doodle do. Then he's going to sing cock a doodle doodle do. Is that it? Oh, that was pretty good. How'd you rate that? That was all right. That was very stressful. You lost the melody. Like, we had a beautiful. I think I lost a few words. We had a beautiful harmony at the start. Then you can't really listen to the melody because you're also I was singing. listening to the next line. You got stitched up. Yeah. Uh, but that went fantastically. It went about as... No, it went way better than I thought it was going to go. I thought I was going to drop it that's instantly. That's a little warm-up from my choir days. Uh-huh. What, were you, is there like roles in choir? Were you a role? Yeah, I was a tenor. Oh. It's basically all the guys that haven't hit puberty yet. Right. <laughs> the high as voices. As soon as your balls drop, they make you a bass or a baritone. Right. Tenors are like the highest guy part. Right. But the girls can't be tenors? Uh, no. Okay. They are alto if they're low voice or soprano. Oh, so boys can't have soprano voices. Boys would never have voices high. What? Soprano's like, oh, oh I can't go that high because boys can't be it. Surely some boys can. No. No? It, unless it's like an all boy choir. What about like Michael then Jackson? He could sing very high. Yeah, I don't think it was in many choirs. No, he probably it? was at some point. Yeah, the Jackson 5. Yeah, not really was quiet, probably, was it? Well, But it was probably like a soprano, alto, tenor, bass sort of yeah, okay. thing. Like, we want your back. Boom, 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 boom. Anyone want you know? back. <laughs> What's the best Jackson 5 song? A, B, C. Yeah, actually, that's the only one I know. You just sung a different one. Wait, is I Want You Back. No, that wasn't Jackson 5, was it? I don't know. I thought that was Michael Jackson. Is it? I don't know. Jackson 5. What did the other guys do? Well, Janet Jackson, right? <laughs> Isn't she one of them? Is that real? Oh, maybe not. No, that's... <laughs> Am I just... Is that no, just... Yeah, I'm sure it is real. I don't know Janet Jackson. Jackson 5. Let's find out. People always used to say, oh, Jackson, like Jackson 5. And I was like, that's correct. When I was a kid, not very interesting, that story. Peter but Jackson? Know. One of them made the Lord of the Rings? It's all brothers. Jackie, Tido, Jermaine, Marlon, Michael. Michael being Michael Jackson. <laughs> you don't say. Uh, so what is there? Let's have a look at the Jackson 5, hey? Let's not. No, let's, let's go back look. to round. Again? Okay, go on then. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the whole point was to talk about round. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I thought you meant you wanted to do another round. No, no. Let's let's do it. get a new word. Okay. Fuck round. Yeah, round's pretty difficult, but we've got it done anyway. Find and find out. I think it shows your podcasting skills how long you can stay on a hard word. <laughs> so not very skillful. So that was pretty bad. We right. fucked around and we found out there's nothing to talk about. Despair. Oh, shit. Been feeling that lately. Have right. you really? Nah, not really. Oh, not okay. so much. Okay. More than the usual. <laughs> <laughs> What's like, more than baseline despair. <laughs> okay. Why? But not... Or not that really a podcast Not to the level where I... Would... Why? Oh, I think I'm just being very not productive with the real yeah. life videos. Coming back to real life it yeah. does fill you with despair. Oh, shit. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, like holidays, not Yeah, I, like just making gaming videos. I'm off in my own little world. Yeah. But no, nah, it's more to do with like organizing real life videos, just being fucked. Been trying to film a video about like kids' go-karts. I've had 
you, you know, the, I've got all these like kids' yeah. bicycles and yeah, vehicles yeah, 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 yeah. like in the upstairs room of my house. Yeah. And they're taking up a shitload of space. Yeah. And every time I call the one go kart track in Perth, they're yeah. like, mm, sorry, we're booked out. Right. And then I try like a couple different go kart. Tra- go kart. Booking a go kart track, mm-hmm. maybe the hardest challenge of my YouTube career. Oh, okay. And I've got all these fucking kids' bikes that I have nothing to do with. Yeah. So are you going to call it with that or what? No, I'm still trying to book the go-kart right. course. You've had these bikes in that top room for, what do you reckon, 18 months? Yeah. Yeah. Bikes have babies at this point. They all, they should. Yeah, they're all old enough. family. Yeah, my, my three-year-old tricycle is actually like <laughs> yeah. a five-year-old tricycle. The coolest one's the green machine. It takes me back to my childhood. Yeah. I, hope uh, I, n- I never rode is. a green machine, though. Have you ridden it now? Y- yes. You, so you took it out yeah, for school? Yeah, yeah, a tiny it? bit. It's fun. Not on a go-kart track, though, Jackson. I'll tell you what. Why? I'm very hard to book. Oh, right, to get the go-kart yeah. track. Yeah. yeah. That feels well, a bit No, despair. I'm still on that. That's that's pretty despair-filling. Yeah. Anything else filling you with that's despair? A, uh, that's about, like, that's most of it, actually. <laughs> most of my despair can be traced to this go-kart, go-kart right. booking. Why, why don't you just scrap it or you feel too, like, committed to it at this point? Well, I, li- I don't feel committed. I'm in the red. With these right, kids. you spent all this money on these yeah, bikes these and stuff. Yeah, these kids' tricycles. Yeah. They did cost money. Are you going to ask these places if there's any chance? Or are you just... Like, what happens when you call them and they say, we just booked out? Then I just ask the next... I don't fucking know, man. Okay. There's... Sorry, I was trying to help you with your despair. I know. It seems like you're stuck in a despair nah, loop. Nah, it's, it's a big despair loop. All right. Well, sounds bad. I think you should just get rid of the tricycles. Well, what about you? Off. What's your biggest despair in life? Um... I was kind of seeing like, what am, what am I going to do with myself? So I suppose that's sort of Shit, despair. you got a better one than me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 everyone's got their own thing. Can't book this go go track. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life? No, nah, because obviously YouTube's not going to last forever. And I don't really make that much money from it. Uh, so, I'm, and I would like to set myself up. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. And that well, guys, we do have the patreon.com slash underdogs pod if yeah. you want to help Jackson earn a little bit more. <laughs> Which would be good. I'm sorry. That was just... No, that's that's true. Great I transition do need into a... Into underdogs.com. No, you also no. get other stuff. Like you can be here watching us live. Just yeah. It's a cheeky Patreon you get plug. the extended edition. It's worth. Uh, but that fills me with despair, in case <laughs> anyone was wondering. <laughs> it fills me with despair that people aren't subscribing to the Patreon. That's what really... Yeah, fuck, That yeah. fucks me up. <sighs> Yeah, no, I've been a bit depressed lately. You've been feeling that too? Yeah. No one's subscribing to Lost the Lost a couple of patrons. <laughs> it's just I was reading the exit interviews. For pretending the like you're going to be like actually really open and honest and then it just goes into a brand deal. Yeah. <sighs> I've been so sad lately because I lost my earbuds. <laughs> then the Raycons! <laughs> Raycons! Me a new pair of everyday earbuds. Maybe season two we can get a sponsor for the podcast. That would be cool. Yeah. Who, who's your dream sponsor? Something I actually use would be good. Yeah. Um, what do you What do you use the most? Like, are there any are there any companies that you would like super vouch for? Even though you've like New never, Balance, ooh. all my shoes are New Balance. Great shoes. So if they came to me, I would be there in a heartbeat. So if anyone knows New Balance something, you just let me know. <laughs> I think they sponsored Jack Harlow. Yeah, they do or did. So for a collab, I know that from one of his link his lyrics. It's like that's what my bank account balance say. I got a check from a shoe company now. They now I do anything that New Balance say. It's pretty clever, actually. Yeah. Bank account balance, new balance, yeah. Uh, but then I was like, I figured it was real. You can't really, like, chuck in a sponsorship if you're not sponsored by Maybe him, he's just you? putting it out there. I feel like he is, but that also could be <laughs> Maybe wrong. Maybe he manifested his destiny. Right. Yeah, the, <laughs> came, the song came out first, and then they were like, yeah. yeah. So maybe we need to do that. Just pretend that we're sponsored by New Balance. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, how, how do we do that? Well, look at these shoes. New Balances, 373s. If you're on audio, I'll describe them. Yeah. They're white. Uh, excellent shoe. It's like me and my friend... Uh, you don't have to do a rap. Me we and my friend Converse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like conversation. Yeah. Then it's like, I got a check from a shoe company. In my purse. It was called Converse. Oh, we're just saying Converse to yeah. us. Cool. <laughs> well, what did you think I was going to say? Like something about money being in your purse? No, but it's it's the shoe company. Yeah. Converse, I see. Just saying New Balance twice. Why does everyone like me? <laughs> what? Got a new pair of shoes and they got that Nike. Oh, that's better. 
I could do this all day. Yeah. Come up with fake raps. Okay, what sponsored else have by we got? Shoe company. Adidas. Oh, my dad is fast. <laughs> That's why I'm sponsored by Adidas. When we're running, my dad is fast, but I got a new pair of shoes now. I overtake him. They're Adidas. Okay. Um, no, we're done. One more. <laughs> okay, I did say I could sit here all day. Reebok. Um. Hmm. Reebok's hard. Yeah, kind of. I'm trying to think of a good one. All I can think of is Schmishmok, which is really no help to you. I got a big cock. And okay. you know why? It's because I wear a size 12 Reebok. So that's, that's a lie. I got my feet measured and I'm an 8.5. Size? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what? 8.5 what? Oh, that's Pairs? what I was wondering. I don't know. Pairs yeah, 8.5 something. I, that's what I was checking. A men's US 8.5. 8. 5. That's very So specific. if that's below average, I don't want to be average. What is the average shoe size, do you think? I don't know. Let's play over underdogs, just you and I. <laughs> no, but the thing is, I've always worn like size 10. What? So I found out that I'm just always... You're always really overcompensating. Heavily overcompensating. Average shoe It's size. either that or no, my, sh- my feet are actually wide. Little hobbit feet. So like, I wear a size 9 in certain shoes and it's like really fucking close on the, right. on the middle of my foot. But then my toe is nowhere near the end. But it's like I can't wear them because they're still really uncomfortable. The average shoe size for men is believed to be 10 to 11. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so in the red. That's that's big. How big are your feet? You got big feet. Size 13. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty large. Okay. Sorry for d- name dropping my 8.5 like a little dickhead. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize I had a tiny like feet. Like a little pin feet, yeah, dude. Yeah, like a tiny little... Yeah. F- well, there's a lots of size US nine shoes on Depop for me. Yeah, so it must be a common shoe size. I don't I know where they're thought, getting their facts. I, I would have thought nine was about average. Yeah, I, I, well, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm eight point five, just a little below. Is average. it for you with despair knowing that you're well below average in shoe no, size? No, I'm not though. Okay, I, I, I'm not. Not filled with despair, or you're not below the size. That's that fact has got to be wrong. Okay, <laughs> ten to eleven is that fucking- seems too big, doesn't it? Is size nine small for a guy's suggested search? <laughs> a shoe size small than I'm eight down bad. is considered small. So 8.5, you're all good. Okay, I'm above, not average, but I'm above small. Yeah, apparently the average shoe size ranges from nine to 12, according to this one. So I That's a know. big range. It's a huge range for an average. That's, that's not what an average yeah, is. Yeah, that's not, they failed the assignment. Women is seven to eight. Anyway. Would you rather have small feet or small hands? Small that's feet. a good question. Small feet. Really? Hands are so much more useful to have big hands. I could like a strong gust of wind and you lose your balance though. I I don't think we're imagining the same level of small. I'm thinking centimetres. Oh. Like maybe three centimetre foot and two centimetre hand. I get like a prosthetic something so you can wear a normal size shoe. Let's just go baby. Baby feet or baby hands. smallest baby foot. Like definitely baby feet. Everyone sees your hands. What? You'd be like walking around. You couldn't drink beer. Imagine trying to drink beer. Yeah, or a baby's to... hand could grab that handle. No. Think of it. It's the muscles in your arm that's keeping it up. Could it grab it? As long it? as your little baby fingers have a little bit of grip strength. Do they have strength? You could train it. Oh. But you can... I think it's just too small. It's like walking around on chopsticks. If you have little baby feet. You probably your have... leg is bigger than a baby's foot. It's like width, girth Yeah, so is your wrist, though. You couldn't do handstands. <laughs> You have to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already can't do handstands, yeah, okay. so I think I'm fine that with that. That helps with letting that go. Yeah, I'm going to go with the b- small feet. Still? Yeah. I laid out some pretty good points, I feel. Yeah. You never I, get a pedicure? I don't do that. Do you do that? You you could never wear shoes. They wouldn't make them in your size. No, they would. They're baby, baby shoes. Feet, baby shoes. Actually, they nah, look but, pretty fire. Okay. With the baby Nikes, they cost like 20 bucks as well, baby shoes. Yeah, but if, if I'm Nike and I'm making baby shoes, uh-huh. they wear them for one year tops. Yeah. They're not going to need to be durable, uh-huh. reliable. They're not built to last, you don't think. Well, you ask a one-year-old like, oh, your shoe's comfy. They fit your feet well and they're going to cry and shit their pants. Yeah. They're not going to give you a straight answer. Yeah, okay. So- how do you know? Oh, so that, you like, think the whole so industry is a farce? I think the industry probably makes most of their profits on baby clothes. Makes sense. Because they can make it so bad and yeah. the babies are never going to like get old enough to... And then they reach toddler age and the shoes are still shit and they're like, mum, these shoes hurt. And it's like, shut up. <laughs> I feel like when your kid's a toddler, the yeah. parents are just like, stop complaining. 
deal with it. Well, but some parents, but some aren't. But yeah, some parents are just like, yes, son, whatever you need. Yeah, but I mean, if you've got parents like that, you're probably going to be all right anyway, aren't you? I don't know. All right financially, probably yeah. not. Physically, yeah. mentally. Well, emotionally. Emotionally, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you might have some lacking areas. Filling you with despair. Yeah, just that's, a different, it. that's a different conversation though. Back to Looped baby in. shoes, I think. Yeah. What, like, surely they're not making them as good as adult shoes. They can't be. What a waste of time if they are. Yeah, right? Because you're not wearing them long. That's what I'm saying. Do parents buy them and then on sell them? Is that quite common? Secondhand baby shoes? It's got to be. Because you don't wear them for long. Well, I'd be snapping up the market if I was... So, in this reality, I've got baby feet. Yeah. I'm wearing, like, the rarest Jordans that yeah. I got for 30 bucks because some stupid mum bought them for her kid and yeah. then didn't have the foresight to be like, oh, shit. He's going to grow out of week. them. Yeah. Yeah. So you would, yeah, see, that's another it's probably good, a huge baby shoe secondhand market. That's a great reason to get small feet. You could join me. We could be wearing the coolest <laughs> shoes. Oh, I thought you meant like, actually, like, you could join me. Like, you've got some kind of no, strategy. No, 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 no. I've just been that, working on it, actually. If you have baby feet, we could have the sickest kicks. Small hands. Well, I, apparently I already do have baby feet, so. Yeah, <laughs> well below average. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just above what is considered small feet. Nine to twelve doesn't sound right for average. Can you Google what you would consider a small cock? <laughs> no, don't act. Don't actually. Oh, here we go. Small All right, he's size. he's doing it. For sale, baby shoes never worn. That is the shortest. Did you know that, Jackson? It's what? like the shortest. Right, like the shortest novel that has like an actual story. Baby shoes for sale, never worn. That's the shortest novel. Yeah, the shortest, like... What do you mean? No, because you, like, think about it. I, I'm trying. It's Help like me through this. Baby shoes, a bit... for sale, never worn. Like, yeah. Why would someone buy baby shoes? Oh. And then they're never worn, and they're selling them. Like it's a riddle? No, like it's a sad story about someone having a miscarriage, is how I take right. it. Baby cot, never worn, never used, for sale. Is that what you mean? Cot never worn. <laughs> 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 never wore it like yeah. some kind of transformer. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, th- I thought it was like they lost the baby, so they're selling the right. shoes. Right. What about like baby? You write a better story in less than six words. Sounds like a good challenge, actually. I'm going to think of Baby one. dead, mum said. Four words. Four words. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like I didn't have to do any work as the reader, which meant it was less satisfying. Abandoned child. Now yeah, that's good Cliffhanger Yeah That what? could be a part two. Oh uh, yeah Or well, just a second I, sentence a sequel <laughs> Writing a book with a cliffhanger That's six words long Yeah I don't know if it can be considered a novel I wonder if you have a certain amount of words you need A hundred words To be a novel Probably mm. more A thousand Okay here's mine Go on um, War veteran Yeah Reunited with You're getting up there That's four Dad. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> what have we got? War veteran reunited War with. War veteran yeah. reunited with yeah. cheating wife. That's six again. Oh, wait. I have to go under? Well, isn't that the goal? Oh, shit. Well, veteran reunited with cheating wife. Yeah, that's better. It's not a good story. It's sad story. Sad it's story. awful. It's I was trying to make it I've interesting heard. with the last two words. I kind of pigeonholed myself. Cheating wife. I feel like, you know, writers say they like pigeonhole themselves. Uh-huh, yeah. I've experienced it in my five words. Yeah, novel. we we get it as writers of the shortest yeah, stories on the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, we get it. And that will be $15 in store. <laughs> Pretty expensive. <laughs> YouTube has got to have a book phase. Like they start writing books? Yeah, every YouTuber has a book at some point. Do they really? Lots of YouTubers go into the book market. Oh, okay. Because they get to that point where you have like unlimited money. Mm-hmm. Well, like the big ones, I mean. Yeah. I'm not there. Yet. Yeah. Like Mr. Beast, has he written a book? Oh, I don't think he has actually. Yeah. This is it's more like the old era of YouTube. Like, um, okay. Like Jenna Marbles and Shane Dawson. Yeah. Like, but they were more lifestyle. So it kind of makes sense they would make a book because you were worried yeah. about their life. But also like the vloggers, they do their like, you know the like, like morning routine and that. Yeah, I feel like all the YouTubers that are trying to like show how good their life is, they always say they read heaps. Yeah, 
I've and been reading recently. It's been great. See, and you're a YouTuber, aren't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those ones that's so rich. <laughs> yeah, that you can just read all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and how's that going? It's good. Read before bed and then you actually just fall asleep. Yeah, and have good sleep. It's weird. Not weird. Everyone's been telling you that forever. But yeah. What do you mean good sleep? Because you haven't had the screen. Your body you can just fall asleep better. Oh, how, how soon before bed are you dropping them screens? About an hour. Yeah. Okay. What's what's the recommended time? You've done your sleep video. Oh, like recommended times like three or four hours. Oh, really? But that's like for optimal. Yeah. I got a hundred percent sleep score and I didn't do that shit. <laughs> I I did stop looking at screens like near bedtime, but it was not even like an hour. Thirty minutes. Maybe or like yeah, just not looking at my phone while in bed. Yeah. Was basically the yeah, that's a good one. Charging your phone somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, I don't do that, but no. it sounds great. Yeah. That'd be awesome. No, like no caffeine after midday. Yeah, I already also that. broke that one today. Yeah. yeah, had a coffee like an hour ago. No, I can't do that. I don't sleep. Yeah, but you you have trouble getting to sleep. I have anyway. a lot of trouble. I have to take it quite seriously. Otherwise, I don't sleep. I oh, I am so jealous of people that can just like zonk out. Yeah, like nothing. Maddie yeah. does it on like any sort of plane or like train. Sleeping on a plane is it? It's a superpower that I don't have and would trade a lot for. Yeah, no, I used to not be able to sleep on planes. Yeah. I think I just got older. Uh-huh. I don't know. I I think it was more like I thought I couldn't sleep on planes. So I'd always be like, all right, I'm going to get four energy drinks and I'm going to stay awake till I get to the new location. Yeah. Then I'll be so tired be that, I'll like, yeah, that I'll sleep at their nighttime and yep. I'll like get over the jet lag. Genius idea. And it would always make me feel like shit. So I started... <laughs> <laughs> that's bizarre so yeah. i started trying to just sleep on the planes and it works well for me i can sleep yeah uh, i know there's lots of people who can't and that must fucking suck yeah like holly couldn't when we went away yeah uh but then yeah maddie and jordan are both just n- absolute criminal nappers jordan strikes me as such a zonker like he would just Loves fall asleep yeah yeah and then like we'll just be on like a train and it's like 40 minutes and jordan will be like oh quick little like 30 minute little nap kip. That's Jordan loves sleeping though. Yeah. He's sleeping right now. Yeah. When he should be here. He should be here, but he's sleeping. He slept through his fucking day Maybe job. he's watching this. You know, he probably is. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I had a bit Should we send him the link? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Private, <laughs> private message. DM the link. him? Yeah. Yeah. Should we get a pop one question of the week? All right. Let's, let's all message him, see if we can get one before we head out of here. Um, should we do one more word? <laughs> Jordan, do you have question <laughs> the long distance question of the week yeah what do you reckon the percentage chance he replies is oh 15. whoops what i made him dull when they came back so that's something to eat after their plane ride oh i heard about that that's so nice of you oh no, that's yeah that's okay well this he wrote, it's so good. What's the recipe? And I said, I'll write it down for you tomorrow. And then I'm just looking at that message and I have not written it down for him. So uh, well, there you go. Got to sort that out. He could be here. Give me the recipe in person. You want me to tell you the <laughs> recipe in person? No, you don't have to tell me on the pod. Right. I don't think that's great I content. would have to think about it. I've... So oh, think about it. Write it down for me, huh? Uh, yeah, thanks, man. Sound like I'll a write down for you tomorrow. Secret <laughs> recipe. He doesn't want to give the recipe away. No, it's just something I found online, and then I was making it once a week. So I've been altering it as I go, and now I've got it down to a science. That's it's unreal having like one dish that you can cook really well. I'm trying to learn seven recipes. You don't need more than seven. No. In fact, I would argue you don't need more than two. I saw your I'm presentation. A, yeah, I'm a bit of a uh, stick to what you know guy. Yeah. And make sure... Well, like for me, it's like about the macros too. Because mm-hmm. I've been trying to look at that shit more, like more protein. Do you watch calorie. the guy that does the ranking all the foods, like ranking the fruits, the fruit tier list and stuff? Oh, yeah, I actually do. I've been watching that That's recently. an odd one to like... Yeah, I love it. Like have as uh, something we both watch. I'm addicted. Have I write nuts? notes and stuff. The yeah, nuts, nuts tier list. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Big nuts guy. Yeah, but uh, you only need like a couple recipes. Yeah. And then I'll have the same thing for lunch almost every day. What's that? Toasted sandwich. Oh, okay. I just have it with like certain ingredients that I know. I is usually like, have last night's leftovers as my lunch. Yeah, but then it's not as easy. Yeah. Well, for me, I'd rather cook 
the things for dinner yeah. half as often and have yeah. a sandwich for lunch every yeah, sure. single day. And then have the, the leftovers for dinner again the next night. Yeah. Well, you've only got two dinners, you know, so that makes uh, sense. Yeah. Um, would you... Yeah, freeze them. What do you have for breakfast? Eggs. Yeah, so Omelette. Um, just omelette. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. Start having uh, toast, avocado on top, three boiled eggs. So good. Sorry, I just... When you like started having toast, <laughs> I was thinking like, uh, this podcast is <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's ran out. <laughs> I'm hoping to get the question of the week before we uh, all die. Active Ooh, now. Bit of despair there. A lot of despair. Word of the week. All right, let's get a word of the week. Yeah, surely. We got to finish on something better than despair. <clears throat> Here we go. I'll give you three passes, but then you run out of passes. Okay. Horn. Were you expecting me to pass on horn? I don't know. I think I I think I will. Okay. Run. <laughs> Can I go back? Nope. Okay, we'll pass on run. Yeah, so you've got one more pass left. Yeah. Carve. Like, if you pass, you just, whatever the next one is, we have to do. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Acquaintance. Acquaintance. That's not bad. Um Maybe it is bad. <laughs> you, <laughs> you said it wasn't bad. I was waiting for okay, you. Okay, well, acquaintances. I like having uh, acquaintances. It's nice to be able to like, say, oh, what's going on? I don't have any acquaintances. You do? Oh, By definition. I think of it as a work word. Oh. And I guess I do have some work acquaintances. But but it's not really. But the, not the people that you have to like deal with, but you would never hang out with outside of yeah. work. For me, it's like my acquaintances will be thing, probably people that I've met at... Zambros. Non-work events. So it's more of in a, like, not Zambros. <laughs> They'd be your acquaintance, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I do go there enough. Yeah. It's a burrito store. It's just someone Earth that you know who they are and they know who you are. I think that's all it really is. Yeah, and I come in on, like, Tuesday nights and she's like, how was volleyball this week? And I'm like, ah, chicken, please. You don't reply. You don't tell her. Uh, no. Really? <laughs> no, no, yeah, I would. Do you tell her the score? But I, well, like, I just mean there's not much conversation. Right. But she remembers that you go to volleyball. Yeah. That, that's but that's about it. It's border, you're almost borderline not acquaintances. She oh, knows she, too much about you. What's the you. next level up? Is there one between acquaintance and friend? Yeah, let's have a look. No, don't Google it. Jackson. Is there? Okay. We're, we're thinking. Okay. Right. Let me try and think. That's I don't hard. think there is. No. And then Pre- you friendy Freddie Bennies after that. Was it best friends? Friend with benefits. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Benny. Friends That's, with benefits, often you're not really friends. Well, nowadays I think people call it a situationship. Oh. Oh, that's well, that might just apply to anything that's like whack. Right. You know, like if you're just like keep on and off with your ex, I guess. Right. That's like, a situationship. Or something. I don't know what it means, but Is I've there heard a situationship a lot. Should I look up that definition or no? Uh, no. Okay. I'm kind of curious though. Okay, yeah, look up situation shit. Okay, so you tell me then your maybe definition. Maybe we'll come up with one between acquaintance and friend. Okay, well, we need one of those. Situation ship. I think it's just any sort of weird romantic situation. Yeah, a romantic or sexual relationship that is undefined and non committal. People in situation ships are more than friends, but less than committed romantic partners. So it's yeah. in between being in a relationship and. So it's like Frenny Bennies. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> But it more I see it seems to imply more romantic sort of Yeah, I guess you choose your you choose your skill tree. Whether you want to like level up and try to become In a relationship. The, no, no, and try to become the best friend. Right. Like say that there's two people that are friends. Right. You either go best friend route or you go the romance situation route. route. Or uh, I guess like if you're meeting someone out, you probably skip the friends thing and just go to like There's definitely a gaming joke in here somewhere. Let's not find it. <laughs> Let's leave that. What do you mean? If anyone needs to know more about relationships, romance, right, and maybe friendships, yeah, it could be gamers. Yeah, but th- that's this is the lesson for them is to not make everything about gaming. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good. And lesson. they'll be more successful. Yeah. So I'm going to say we don't do that. That's my motion. But if you want to make put it into gaming terms, feel but yeah, go for it. Well, technically, here we go. Well, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I was just going to say that, like, gaming did lead me to meet Maddie. Uh, why? Because you met... It's pretty convoluted. 
Yeah, it, it doesn't it's, really. It's through you and your ex and yeah. their friend is Maddie. Yeah. So. I don't really know if that's through gaming necessarily. Well, I guess I wouldn't I only have know Maddie. you through gaming. Yeah, but mm, I suppose. <laughs> no, it is a stretch. It's a stretch. Yeah. I'm not paying it. Okay. In fact, <laughs> yeah, Maddie, Maddie doesn't you. know anything about like, she's very much not a gamer. Yeah. So you I guys guess play games together? Not really. Sometimes, not more board games actually than video games. Yeah, cool. Uh, we enjoy together. Yeah, What's but your it's, favorite it's board like game Maddie together? doesn't like versing me in a game that I'm going to be like way better at, I mean, which is most sense. of them, and yeah. it makes sense to not like like Switch Sports is good because we do a bit of like co-op. Yeah, I haven't played so much of that recently. Yeah, yeah, not really, not really. But Just I don't, board I games. don't game too much in my spare time anyway. Yeah, because you got other shit to do, and the yeah. gaming is kind of your job, so. Yeah, not so much anymore. True. I've been gaming a little more in my free time, actually, now that I don't play as much Smash. Yeah. Just because I, I still enjoy Smash Online sometimes. Call me fucking crazy. Yeah, I will. Yeah, uh, but now no one even plays that, so. I feel like every time I see you, you're like, yeah, played online, it was fucking shit. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but I'm still doing it, so there's got to be some level of enjoyment before. No, it. it's like a bad addiction. No, it's like it always ends badly, but it starts good. Right. Like, like an addiction. Yeah, literally like an addiction. <laughs> Yeah, it's like in every time I have a like the bad match, I gotta have an even better like go on a Donkey Kong. And it's get, like, like an gambling, even, an even better spike. It's a gambling. I need addiction. that high. Yeah, I'm chasing the high. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? When you get a big spike as Donkey Kong. Oh yeah. Oh fuck when yeah. I Falcon punch them. Oh fuck, fuck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. God, I wish I could Falcon punch some fucking bitches. Is there a question of the week coming through? <laughs> <laughs> no. Active now. Come on, Jordan. Call him. All right. No, I'll call Jordan, actually. I might be Bluetooth to the... Uh... Oh, really? No, I'm not. Nah, hold it up. Unrivaled audio entertainment. I don't, there's a, probably a 0% chance he answers this. Or next to. He's sick. We don't know what to do without you, Jordan. <laughs> It's not looking good. Fuck, what do we do? Question of the week? Yeah. How hard could it be? Go on then. Why don't we come up... We'll we'll come up with a question that Jordan would ask. Okay. And then we will just answer it. So we do one for each other? Okay. Well, like, yeah, it's just a Jordan question. He didn't answer, to let you know. Like, why are giraffes' necks so long? They're never quite that 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 straightforward. They're more like... It's got to be hard to answer because yeah, they're almost like, ask it. why don't we stop war? You like <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing. It's like one that you can't Google because mm-hmm. it'll just be way too broad. Yeah, and it's that's a, l- a good one. Why don't we stop war? Yeah, there you go. That's mine. And also, oh, I'm answering. Well, it. yeah, and then you can have a turn. Ooh, a tough spot to be in. Yeah, uh, topical war. It's usually topical though. There's always a war going on. Yeah, I I feel like I saw something that was actually how to stop war. Oh, really? Well, I've forgotten. Right. But I I thought of something in Japan. Like a particular war or all the wars? No, all the wars. Okay. And it's like, what if... This will be good. No, no, but I can't remember it. You came up with it or you saw it? Maybe I came up with it. Oh, wow. If I've forgotten it, let's just say I came up with the, the cure for war. And you and can't I remember it. it. That <laughs> sucks. That's good law to have in the Because that would have been really <laughs> that, handy. That would have been pretty good. That would solve a lot of issues that the world has. Damn, you don't know it? Shit, no, I'm drawing a blank. So patrons are coming in with some uh, Popper One questions. Oh, week. oh, we got Patreon. Popper Patreon questions. Popper Patreons. I'll ask them to you. Uh, NX Generation, well, why was... don't we have more moons? <laughs> That's a pretty good um, one. <laughs> why don't we have more moons, Zach? We couldn't afford them off Saturn. Do you think it would like if we had two moons, would our tides be really messed up? I think because we're not big enough. Right, yeah, the, and the thing. tides. Yeah. Well, like Saturn is very big. Yeah, got it's a got lot a lot of, lot of moons. moons. Jupiter, very big, got a lot of moons. Does it have more than Saturn? Yeah, who knows? They both got moons. They be having moons and yeah. Earth doesn't so what's the difference they are bigger they have more moons so So maybe if we like i guess you can't add mass to earth can you 
Uh, could you put we have lead? To, can we just start making and producing lead? Or does that not even No, 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 because the, to produce it, yeah. it's like you're taking atoms from a different substance and recombining yeah. them to make lead. So the Earth hasn't gotten heavier the more shit we've put on it. Like it can't physically get heavier. I think it can't because we take it out of the ground. So you'd have to go to like the moon, or not the moon because we want more moons, and harvest their materials. <laughs> well, what if we turn our moon into like 10 smaller moons? You could blow it up. Well... Ideally, we shape it into ten smaller moons. Right, like go out there and that have like up. different shapes. That's cool. So we then you just see all these different shapes in the sky. That'd but be freaking awesome. The moon's already not that big in the sky, and it's a fucking circle. Like, yeah, that's a bit boring. What would you go with a star? Yeah, that's crescent cool. shape. Crescent. Yeah, well, it does so do then that sometimes. Well, yeah, but it'd be all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> You'd have half a crescent. A full moon tonight. The half, the quarter moon being a crescent, and uh, yeah. then you'd have a quarter of a crescent. Oh. It'd be like a little point. Right. That's That'd pretty be good. fun. I don't know if you'd even be able to see it. That'd be good. That would be good. You could um, have a square moon. Square moon? Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> then don't say square moon with such, you know, ambiguity. Is it a cube or is it like Say with a confidence. Square, square moon. Square moon. So square moon. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Do you want to try that again? You say square moon and I'll be right. What about a square moon? Oh, God, that's a good idea. Yeah. Square? We could say, like, be there or be the square moon. It'll be like new sayings. (laughs) Someone with square butt cheeks. It's not mooning, it's square mooning. (laughs) (laughs) Moon boy, moon boy, because you've got (laughs) square butt cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now you're getting it. Yeah. We couldn't. Oh, I guess the moons would have different names. It wouldn't just be square yeah. moon. But don't sit clo- too close to the TV, or you get moon eyes. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> Got them. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of room to grow with. Square. Wow. Imagine if the world how different it would be. If we had a square moon. It'd be crazy. What if it was square and then they changed the circle? I think we might be done. <laughs> how long have we been well, going for? <laughs> there wouldn't be any point. a circle now yeah no I got that (laughs) Um, I can't see how long we've been going for but it surely is too long we've lost the plot what do you mean recording yeah yeah let me have a look why don't we have beaks (laughs) that is a pop at one question of the week Why don't we have beaks? Because we didn't start eating nuts until, I guess, it was too late. Recently, until we'd already established our faces. Yeah. So, well, like, if we had a beak, we wouldn't have to peel pistachios. That's a pro. Uh huh. Con, no kissing at all. Oral sex would be bad. <laughs> well, you don't know that for sure. Dude, you got sucked off by a toucan. Can't end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs>